Well, I want to cheat a little bit and, and say something that's a current trend that I think hasn't really taken off yet. And that's the prospect of intelligent applications. So people, AI isn't just a separate workload anymore. It's something that people are putting into production as part of an application to deliver essential functionality. And I think that what the consequences of this are that we'll need better ways to treat machine learning as a software engineering discipline. Because advances in AI results in pretty good problem domains in the last 20 years have really come from application concerns as much as they've come from research concerns. So we need a way to empower software developers to really put AI into production and experiment with techniques. They're not going to be developing new algorithms, but they're going to be the domain experts who will be doing feature engineering that leads to better techniques in the future and, and improve performance in domains. So we need a way to treat machine learning as a software engineering discipline. We also need a better way to treat artifacts like models and data pipelines as part of our software engineering workflows. So we need an analogy to continuous integration and continuous deployment for predictive models as well. Do you think we are at the end of the way that expectations and that the next AI winter is coming? I don't think an AI winter is coming, but I think that we are at a, a period of high expectations. Deep learning has been so successful for a lot of problem domains that classical techniques have not worked for that people aren't as excited about classical techniques as they should be. Classical machine learning has, you know, deep learning is very exciting, especially for image processing, speech processing, audio, natural language, but classical techniques um, have, are still delivering a lot of value to businesses, and I feel like a lot of people want to jump in at the deep end, you know, and instead of using classical techniques that could get real value. So I'm hoping there will be a renaissance of classical techniques in the future as some of the hype wears off from very exciting techniques that aren't necessarily applicable to every domain. I love Big Data Spain. This is my second year here. It's a great conference, high quality speakers, a really good mix of topics. I've always found multiple sessions that I want to go to in every every track, so it's really very exciting. Thank you so much. So that's something to summarize. Thank you.